Disney for Seniors Facebook group, the first 50,000 members. Hi, it's Dan from Nancy Nan Travel to Disney. Yes, this is a different type of YouTube video. In today's video, we are celebrating a milestone for the Disney for Seniors Facebook group, taking a look back, a look at where this community of Disney loving seniors is, and asking a question about the future. Let's get right into today's focus on the Disney for Seniors Facebook group. The objective of this Facebook group from day one is, as you see here, to enhance the experience of seniors at all Disney parks, Disney resorts, and Disney cruises throughout the world. As far as we know, just like this, our Nancy and Dan Travel to Disney YouTube channel, the Facebook community, which anyone can join within the group rules, is unique. It is the only one which focuses on arguably the largest demographic group of Disney consumers, seniors. From the perspective of seniors, managed by, you guessed it, seniors. Yesterday, on October 26th, after only seven months in existence, the Disney for Seniors Facebook group reached 50,000 members. When we started back in late March of 2024, Nancy and I thought this was an underserved group of Disney guests. Yet, for the first five months or so, as a public Facebook group from March through to August 2024, the membership of this group struggled. It remained at around 100 members. I even thought of closing the group because it was a lot of work and few seemed interested. Then something happened in late August. I still do not know what happened. Perhaps Facebook changed how it decided to push out to its user community that our community of Disney-loving seniors even existed. Yet, as you can see here, from late August 2024 to early September, in a matter of a couple of weeks, the membership request exploded from around 100 to around 10,000. At that time, the members requested that we make this group private to reduce the amount of spam that can occur in Facebook groups and to keep the discussions in the group within the group. We then changed the group from public to a private group. And for the next week, the sudden rise in Facebook users asking to join the community stopped. It was as if Facebook had to check us out being a new private group. At the end of the first week being a private group, Facebook must have felt that our community was okay because the huge rise in membership requests started all over again. And as you see here, shows no sign of stopping with us reaching the 50,000 membership level yesterday. Presently, you can see here the global distribution of our membership. Per Facebook, most members reside in the United States with almost 46,000 members. Next, per Facebook, the United Kingdom sees the next group of members at approximately 1,200. Canada, again for Facebook, has around 700 members, with Australia just over 60 members, and Puerto Rico, per the Facebook statistics for our group, at just under 60 members. Members frequently ask for the age distribution of the group's members. Once again, straight from Facebook, here is the approximate membership age distribution. 65 years of age and over, approximately, just over 50% of the group's members. From 55 to 64 years of age, approximately just over 40% of the members. From 45 to 54 years of age, approximately 6%. And with the remainder of the membership for those under 44 years of age. What changes have occurred in the group over the first seven months other than the membership numbers? First, we have added two, just like Nancy and myself, volunteer moderators, Chuck and Jillian. We added our group's logo and banner just recently. Next, we have added five different guides within the groups, which are nothing more than collection of posts, which contain a lot of suggestions for improving the experience of seniors at Disney, based mostly on the actual experiences from the members themselves. The five guides include how best to experience Walt Disney World as a senior, ECV or scooters at Disney parks, resorts, or cruises, Disney Cruise Line Group Information for Seniors, Disney for Seniors Related Podcasts. Another new thing in the group is where Nancy and I have been asked to participate in Disney Related Podcasts to increase the awareness not just of our unique YouTube channel from an adult's and senior's perspective for Disney experiences, but more importantly, increase the awareness of how many seniors want to experience Disney 
and how that is different from how young families and children want to experience Disney. And lastly, improving the senior experience at Disney parks. Most recently, we created a list of travel agents or planners who specialize in Disney for vacations for seniors and mobility challenge adults, as some members want assistance in booking and planning their Disney vacation experience. It needs to be noted that to remove the appearance or actuality of any conflict of interest, Nancy and Dan Travel does not accept as new clients any members of the Disney for Seniors Facebook group and receives no compensation from these vetted travel professionals. Looking forward, what's next for the Disney for Seniors Facebook community? Good question. To say that we know what the future holds for this online community would not be truthful. We don't. This is a brand new world for all of us. Yet, receiving feedback from many in the Disney for Seniors Facebook group that they have received support and ideas to enhance their Disney vacation experience from the membership makes us want to ensure that we can maintain this community's objective when we began way back in March 2024. That being to enhance the experience of seniors at all Disney parks, Disney resorts, and Disney cruises throughout the world. Yet many seniors in the group believe that the experience of seniors, Disney's largest demographic consumer group, can be improved at its theme parks, resorts, and cruises. So we hope that going forward, we can garner the attention of the large Disney-related YouTube channels and bloggers for them to begin to create their own videos on seniors at Disney. Who knows? Perhaps the traditional media might also start to take notice. And perhaps we could even be given an opportunity to converse and dialogue directly with Disney on those topics which many of the members of this online community of Disney-loving seniors indicate could improve their guest experience at Disney parks, Disney resorts, and Disney cruises. If you are curious what the first 10,000 or so members had to say on ways that their experience at Disney parks could be improved, you can do so now by watching the Seniors at Disney video. So click that video link right now. Or here is a link to another of the many, many videos from this, the Nancy and Dan Travel to Disney YouTube channel focusing on all things Disney from an older adult's and seniors perspective. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time and we'll see you in the group.